Operation Backpack is at it again, and this week volunteers are doing their part to make sure all homeless students have the supplies they need for school. The News at 8 starts right now. Live from 42nd and 2nd, this is New York's very own PIX11 Morning News. Well, time is running out for us to pitch in and make sure that New York's homeless students living in shelters have the supplies they need for school. And if you think that's not a lot of students, think again. Yeah, check out these numbers right here, okay, because there are nearly 112,000 homeless students enrolled in school. The Bronx has the highest number of kids facing this issue, where one in six students are homeless. Volunteers of America, Greater New York, is wrapping up its Operation Backpack campaign to ensure all of New York's homeless students have what they need. And joining us to talk about this critical campaign is actress Paige Davis, who serves on the board of the organization, and spokesperson Angela Simonello. Thanks so much, ladies, for joining us. Good morning. Thank so you for having to be us. here. Uh, now, Paige, we know the pandemic really forced Operation Backpack to to shift gears in 2020, but tell us how this year's campaign really had to pivot again while keeping the focus on serving the city's students in need. Well, as always, Volunteers of America ups the ante whenever possible. Where there is a need, we go to fill it, and that's the most important thing. In terms of how we had to shift things, you know, when, when COVID hit and the pandemic hit, we weren't quite sure how we were going to get all the supplies to these students. Mm. There's 15,000 students in our homeless shelter system in the five boroughs. So that's a lot of kids who need school supplies. And normally we would have thousands of corporate volunteers, hundreds of corporations holding drives and doing mass collections and donating backpacks and school supplies from the public. But because of COVID, everyone was working from home. We couldn't have employees show up to right. our sort space to get everything together. So we had to figure out how to socially distance volunteers. We had to figure out how to collect the supplies in a pandemic safe way and in a COVID safe way, which we did. So instead of collecting individual supplies, we ended up ordering uh, pre grade specific mm -hmm. packs of supplies that had everything that yeah. our New York City students needed. And it came in a box and we were masked and we were gloved and we got that. Well, cool. We didn't have to touch anything and we got it out. But now with kids going back to school and being in person again, it's even more important that we show up with Absolutely. all of the exact supplies they need because they're going in with all their peers. And that's always been a big thing with Operation Backpack. We want every child to look and feel like their classmates yeah, when they go into school. Of course, right? And so Angela, how many students here in New York, I guess, have been supported since Operation Backpack began 19 years ago? That's I mean, amazing. we're hearing the need, right? But 19 years in existence, how many people have you served? So we serve on average somewhere around 14 to 15,000 kids a year. Wow. So times that yeah, by times 19 that. and I'd say it's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's so important, like Paige was saying, it's so important to provide this kind of normalcy for our children. Um, you know, we, we serve about 3,000 kids in our program a year, and that's just us. There's over 200 shelters in the New York City area, and, and we want them to feel normal. We want to give them the tools to succeed. And most importantly, we want them to know that we know their education is important, and we are investing in their future because homelessness is intergenerational. Mm -hmm. so so if we can break that cycle now, we're breaking that cycle for generations to come. And that is what Volunteers of America Greater New York is here for, is to help those get back on their feet, yeah. live their best life, and, and move forward in a positive way, yeah, you especially make, when they have children. Yeah, you make such a huge impact on the lives of these children and their families. And of those 19 years that you've been around, Paige, you've been involved with Operation Backpack for more than 15 years? Wow. At yeah. least, at least, <laughs> at least 15 <laughs> years. I, I, I think I came into it the second year, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so, have yeah, you, have and you ever... it's grown. I mean, one of the things that's so great about Volunteers of America is that particularly with Operation Backpack, but with other programs as well, we don't strive to just only help the people that are within the Volunteers of America shelter system. Mm -hmm. We reach out to all the other shelter systems and the right. other organizations to make sure that all the kids have. It's, it's 
originally it was just hundreds of backpacks. Now it's on certain years, it's gotten up to 20,000. It's crazy, you know, we're but it's great. We're looking at video right now. These kids have smiles so ear cute. to ear. Have you ever had an opportunity to speak to some of these kids whose lives that you're impacting? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, these kids, one of the most important things about the school supplies being put in their hands is they're being told that someone cares about right. their education and that someone believes that they deserve a good education and a great education. And it gives them that, like, just to have someone believe in you and say, you can do it and you should do it, will give someone the catalyst that they need. Totally. And we talk to kids who, to this day, even with computers, they still have the dictionary and thesaurus that they got Absolutely. in the backpack that we gave them right. over 15 years ago. It's that meaningful to them. We've seen people go on to get merit scholarships. We've seen people yeah. go on to you know jobs awesome. and it's really powerful. We um, are simply out of time here, ladies, but Paige and Angela, I love what you're doing. Continue to do it, 19 more plus Thank years. You. <laughs> uh, you know, good luck to you. And, and we're gonna have all details on our website, pix11.com as well, in case people still wanna donate because you have until Thursday <laughs> to do so, to donate. So thank you both. Thank you. Thank you so much.